hi guys welcome to my channel my name is isioma and in this video i will be showing you how to customize your ipad as well as my favorite new features from the newest update ipad os 17. i'll be customizing my 12.9 inch m2 ipad pro and if you want to watch me unbox it and check out my previous video if you're interested in tech and productivity related content then feel free to follow me on instagram and tiktok and without further ado let's get straight into the video so ipad os 17 came out about a week and a half ago and it finally gave us the ability to edit our lock screens and add widgets similarly to how we can on our iphone so what i'm gonna do is I'm just going to swipe down, press and hold on the screen and I'm going to click on customize lock screen. And as you can see on the left hand side, it's got this little widget bar so I can choose what widgets I have. On my phone, I always have the batteries widgets just so that I know the charge of my headphones. Which one should I do? This one. Okay, I'm going to do that one. So now I can see the charge of my iPad, my headphones and my Apple Pencil. Next widget I'm going to add is one for my notes app. I think you can add a specific note when you click on the widget you can just click on notes and then select what specific folder of notes you want to include there i'm going to take off notes because i don't like the way it looks uh, what am i gonna add hmm. tips would be cool for now that is all i'm going to oh i'm gonna add flip clock as well okay for now that's all i'm going to add on my lock screen this wallpaper is actually a default wallpaper that came with my ipad i just added it in my settings i'm gonna change oh now we can actually change the weight of the text as well we couldn't do this before there are only two fonts but i prefer this one it's less rounded off and i'm going to make it quite thick and then i'm just going to press done and now I have a wallpaper. What I actually want to do is I want to add another one with a different wallpaper. So now, similarly to our iPhones, we can actually have two different lock screens or home screens at the same time. So you can just swipe and click add to create a new one. I'm going to use an image I created. I'm just going to add the flip clock widget and I'm going to add batteries. And this is what my home screen looks like and my wallpaper. So next thing I'm going to do to customize my iPad is get rid of all the unwanted apps. So apps that I know I'm not going to use. So I've actually gone ahead and already installed my favorite apps, the apps I like to use like Flip Clock, Pinterest, Canva, Procreate, etc. But I haven't removed all of the ones I don't like. So I don't need Keynote. So I'm just going to press and hold on the app, remove app and then delete it. What else? Um... I'm also going to delete books because I don't read on my iPad. So delete that. Um, that's all I need. So I would get rid of iMovie. Do I have CapCut already? Okay, yeah. I'm going to delete iMovie because I use CapCut to edit. And for now, that's all the apps I'm going to get rid of. I already got rid of other things I didn't want on here. Next, I'm going to add photo widgets to my home screen using an app called Widgetsmith. So with Widgetsmith, it allows you to add photo widgets to your home screen using their photos or photos from your camera roll. You can find pretty and aesthetic images for your home screen from places like Pinterest and Google Images, Unsplash, Pexels. I mainly get my images from Pinterest or I make them myself. You can see from this screen you're able to add different sizes of widgets i usually go for small or large widgets so i'm going to delete the ones i already have just to show you guys how it works so first to add a small widget i'm going to click on add small widget i'm going to choose what widget i want so when i say that i mean you can have a photo you can have the most recent photo in your album with photo you can choose a specific photo photo temperature you can have photo collection so you can choose a specific collection you have and then it will keep showing different photos from that same collection you can also have a music collection you can have a weather so i'm going to select photo then i'm going to click on photo and click choose from photos here i can choose an image that i've already downloaded so by now you would have gotten your image off of google images or pinterest unsplash pexels wherever it is the image i'm using i got from pinterest if i can find it i'll leave the link in my description but i found this image like a long time ago next i'm going to click on save and now i have my widget created i'm also going to create a medium widget as well choose photo um 
Mm, all I have on my iPad is actually pictures of my Sims. But, um, what image am I going to use? I think I'll have this gradient effect image. I quite like this. I can reposition it. I want the lightest point of the gradient in the middle. And I'm going to click on save. Now to add these widgets to your home screen, you're going to slide up and you're going to go to your home screen and press and hold on the background. Then you're going to see this little add button in the top left corner. And here is where you can add your widgets. So here is going to show you the different options you have in terms of widgets. You should see widget smith down here or whatever app you're using. Here is where we can add our widgets. So I've set up a small widget and I've set up a medium widget. I'm going to go ahead and add the medium widget and then come out of this page. I'm going to long press and then click edit widget. Now you can choose what widget. So I set up my widget one as the gradient background. And now as you can see, it shows up on there. Next thing I'm going to do is press and hold. I'm going to click on add widget. I'm going to scroll down to widget smith select add widget and then i'm going to press and hold click on edit widget and add the widget i created now as you can see oh it didn't work as you can see that good vibes only widget has come up i actually want that to be a bit bigger so i'm going to go into widget smith and click add large widget instead and i'm going to use that same photo just because i want it to be big i'm going to scroll down to widget smith and this time i'm going to scroll to large widget and then add widget and then i'm going to press and hold edit widget select large number one i like the look of this much more um, do i do i i don't so this is how i add widgets to my home screen i'm going to take off that medium widget other widgets you can add are different apps you have on your ipad for example you can add like a flip clock widget where it will show the time it can show that a calendar the date whatever it is if you have a timer set i usually like to have notion on my front page and it will be my favorite notion dashboard so i'm going to click add widget and it should come up with my favorite one so my life dashboard and my website information i'm going to add another one because i don't like that one this is my favorite my favorite style of notion widget to add is this page one so you can choose what specific notion page you want it to link to every time you click on the widget it will link to a page so let me just click on a random page okay i'll do my content creator template so now every time i click on this it will straight away take me to that specific notion page and i love that because i use notion for everything so the easier it is to access the better so i'm going to go ahead and change it to one of my most used notion pages you can also add another one as well so you can press and hold click add scroll down to notion then add widget click on done Press and hold, edit widget, and then select your other page. So now I have both of these pages, I can rearrange them. So I think I'm going to have this down here, as well as my website information. Okay. Next thing I'm gonna do actually, is I'm going to group my apps into folders. So if you watched my what's on my iphone 13 pro max video you would know that all of my different apps are grouped inside folders because i don't like it when my apps are just laid out on a screen like this and it's just oh, it's just messy i don't like it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create the same groups i have on my phone but on my ipad so i'm going to group all my video related images by clicking on the app and then dragging it onto another app to create a folder and then the next folder I'm going to create will be called productivity. So usually what I have there is I'll have flip clock, I'll have notion. So I'm gonna, where's notion? Oh no, I'll keep notion down there. I'll have flip clock, Adobe Acrobat. I'll have, oh, that's another app I can delete. I can delete pages. I can delete numbers because I usually download Google Docs and Google Spreadsheet instead. I'm gonna retitle this as productivity. I can't spell. <laughs> I feel like it's starting to look neater as I'm making all these changes. I think the rest I'm gonna hide from my screen. And so in order to hide in an app from your home screen without actually getting rid of the app, you can just click on the minus and remove from home screen. I don't play music off of my iPad. I don't use find my iPad off of my iPad. I don't check the weather on my iPad. I feel like this just makes it easier for me to know where everything is and to find everything. Plus I like everything being on one page. I don't like it when my apps are spread out across two pages. Another feature that people often do is 
adding custom app icons now i don't really like to do that on my ipad i had a phase where i was doing it on my phone but i will still show you how to do it anyways so in order to create a custom app icon you're going to want to open up your shortcuts app if you don't already have this app you can download it in the app store but it should come with your ipad next you want to click on this plus sign in the top right corner and then we're going to choose our action so in this case we want this shortcut to open up an app so we're going to click on open app if you can't find the open app option then you can just type it in up here open app and it will come up here so next we're going to want to choose what app we want to open so we're going to click on this little app button and i'm going to select my app for this example i'm going to use the app store so after you choose your app, you're going to click on this little share button at the top and we're going to click on add to home screen to make this shortcut available on our home screen. Next, you're going to title the shortcut, the name of your app. So in this instance, I'm going to title it app store. After you've typed in the name of the shortcut, you're going to click on the image. And then here you can choose a custom image to use as your app icon. So you can download heart images or star images or images off of Pinterest. In this instance, I'm going to use an app icon that I created that is available on my template store. I'll leave the link to that in the description, but I'm going to use this app store icon that I've created. I'm gonna click on use, and then I'm just gonna click on add to home screen. As you can see now, I've got this app store app instead of this normal app store icon. So in order to show just the shortcut you created, you're gonna press and hold on the old app, click edit home screen, then you're going to remove this app from the home screen and now you're just going to add your new custom app instead so once you click on the app icon it will take you to the app that you set up for so it works the exact same as a normal app icon just the only difference is you can put your own pretty picture on it and make it suit your aesthetic or your background so lastly, I'm going to be showing you my favorite apps for customizing my iPad as well as my favorite iOS 17 features. So one of my favorite apps that I use all the time is Flip Clock. What there is, there's a lock and there's a P word timer, not even Pomodoro timer. So what Flip Clock is, is basically um, that aesthetic app you see all over your For You page and on your Explore page where people have that clock that shows that... Um, flips literally as the title says it flips every time the time changes and then it also has a pomodoro timer so you can set a focus timer and after 25 minutes it will actually give you the option to take a five minute break and then it will tell you to start again with 25 minutes and then you can take a 15 minute or 30 minute break so you can actually configure this timer to how best it will work for you so if you click on the bottom right corner there's these little settings button so you can have a focus length time of 25 minutes, which is what I said, you work for 25 minutes and then it will remind you to take a five minute break. And then after four focuses, which is four 25 minute sessions, 25 to 75 for this 100 minutes, which is basically like an hour and 40 minutes, I guess, then you take a 10 minute break. So I'm gonna do three focuses, which is about an hour and 15 minutes. And then I take a 30 minute break but every 25 minutes you'll get a five minute break and then after three focuses which is three of these 25 minute slots then you take a long break of 30 minutes and then you go back into your small focus sessions so that is why i love flip clock and it is free it has ads but they're manageable it also has a timer as well that you can start if you wanted to time yourself whilst you work to see how long things take you you can both count up and you can count down also now I'm going to show you my favorite iOS 17 features. So my favorite first thing is the flexibility when it comes to stage manager, stage manager. So stage manager has been updated and now you can, do you know what, instead of telling you, let me just show you. So I'm going to open up a few apps. Let's say I open up my template store. Um, I open up the clock. I open up my calendar. I open up the good notes as well. So now you're going to swipe down from the top right corner, click on this little rectangle with the three dots on the side to enable stage manager. And then you're just going to click on an app to open it. Next, you're going to click and drag on this app and then you're going to drag another app to the screen. And as you can see, like you have two apps that you can view at the same time. If you change the sizing, it means that you can have both of them together like this. This is literally basically like having split screen 
but I think it's cool how you can do this within Stage Manager now. So you can be working on two different pages at the same time. You can be typing on one, then viewing something else on the other. But like I said, this is very similar to split screen. The other update I love is in your notes app, you can actually create links to other notes. Um, so I'm gonna show you. Okay, I'll show you this YouTube description that I wrote for one of my previous videos, unboxing my M2 iPad. If I wanna link another note that I already have to this note, I'm just gonna click where this cursor is. I'm gonna click add link, and then I'm gonna start typing the title of my note. So I wanna link it to the thing called YouTube description. And then I'm gonna click either use the note title as the name, so what I've titled the note as, or I can add a new name. I'm gonna use the name that I already titled the note as for the name, click on done. When you now click on that text, it will take you to the note that you linked. So I think this is amazing. Some people think this is basic, but I think this is amazing. I like the fact that you can link several notes within the same note, and you don't only have to link just one note, you can add another one by clicking where the cursor is, clicking add link, type in the name of your document and click on done and you can just keep adding as many as you want so if you're in the middle of a sentence and you want to refer back to another note that you created you would just add the link here or you would add it wherever you want but yeah that is my two favorite features of ipad os 17 i know it's not a lot i'm sure you guys expected me to say oh i love this this that that and that but um no like the updates that i seem to use every day that i find beneficial are stage manager and the ability to link notes in other notes within your notes app i think the customizable widgets option is cool i think the fact that you can interact with widgets directly from your home screen i think that's amazeballs but yeah that was just a quick video on how to customize your ipad and some of my favorite ipad os 17 features i hope you enjoyed this video i did try to make it short and straight to the point if you have any questions then feel free to leave them in the comments and i will leave the link to this background that i created this aura heart wallpaper in the description box down below if you want to see a what's on my ipad video or like an ipad tour video as well then comment down below because i'd love to record that and I will see you guys in the next video.